metabolic syndrome is a cluster of problems that can lead to serious and potentially fatal health conditions. With 40% of New Zealanders over 60 and one in eight school children diagnosed with it, metabolic syndrome is an epidemic in New Zealand and the rest of the world. To explain further and look at the causes and treatments is our resident doctor, Francis Pitsilis. Good morning to you, Francis. Good morning, Mel. Well, those are some pretty terrifying stats there. Well, it's quite worrying. And, you know, when you think about this, it's starting to get our children now. It, it has been getting adults as they get older. It is the contributor to age-related diseases big time. Um, and it, it, it's of concern. So what exactly is metabolic syndrome? Well, it's a collection of things theoretically, but other things as well. And these th things are a big pot tummy, blood pressure, too much triglyceride cholesterol, the bad fat, and not enough of the good fat, HDL cholesterol. So what's the underlying cause then? Mm. So it's the sort of intersection of um, genetics and lifestyle. Genetically, uh, these people uh, would have been the hunter-gatherers that survived starvation, right? They coped really well, but now they're very efficient at storing energy and calories and fat, you see. So it's working against them because we now have uh, the lifestyle factors that contribute, which are um, not enough... Sitting on the sofa. <laughs> sitting on the sofa, not enough sleep, overnutrition, they call it. Eating too much? Overnutrition, yep. And the body in this case is wired. They don't cope very well with glucose. The pancreas doesn't cope very well. And the messaging, messaging systems to, to try and handle the glucose malfunctions. It doesn't work properly. So why is it increasing along with obesity in the community? Well, I think it's because of more stress, lack of sleep, lack of exercise, diet and lifestyle factors. And we have more... Uh, genetic predisposition in the Maori and Polynesian populations in our community. Um, it is a sneaky and hidden condition that um, we need to watch out for. So how do you actually diagnose it then? Well, what the doctor does is that the doctor um, sees some abnormal tests come through um, or they're suspicious of it when they see the tests and they see the pot tummy and they probably know about the... Um, uh, heritage of their patient. But there are other tests that go up like uric acid, liver function tests, fatty liver, which can be part of this condition, and other um, uh, signals of inflammation that the doctor can see. So are there other conditions that are actually associated with it? Yes, and this is the trick really. This is why perhaps you might not think of metabolic syndrome mm. as we've defined it, but then you see people who have um, dementia, psychiatric problems, schizophrenia, depression, anxiety, bipolar, um, obstructive sleep apnea, losing your muscles and your bones, arthritis, skin problems like rosacea. Um, there's one condition called hydradenitis suppurativa that Cracky. young women get. So armpits and groin get too many sores. Um, and even skin cancers are associated with it. Polycystic ovarian syndrome, female cancers, prostate cancer, other cancers, migraine, gum disease, H. pylori that gets into your stomach is associated with metabolic syndrome. So it sounds like this about so, everything is. Yeah, so that's why we need to be aware of it because it's just spreads out it's and tentacles. creates all these problems. Yeah. So what can we do about it then? Right, well you and your doctor have got to keep an eye on this, look at your family, have a look at their shape, have a look at what's going on in, in the family history. Keep in touch, stay with your doctor, get enough sleep, it's absolutely critical. Your diet has to be no sugar, starch, <laughs> fat, and not even too much fruit, but high fibre nuts and, and veggies and right. rainbow foods. Fasting is helpful, and a lot of the community know about that now. Lose body weight, exercise. Now, this condition inherently is deficient in magnesium, zinc, vitamin C, and chromium. Okay. Fix up deficiencies. Now, supplements that you can get, alpha-lipoic acid helps you lose weight and helps lower your blood sugar, which what is very... What was it again? Alpha-lipoic acid. So look out for that. Probiotics, there are specific ones to help you lose weight. Um, now, metformin is a diabetes drug, but you can start that early in discussion with your doctor because it does so much to help you. So that's metformin. Now, getting correction of deficiency in men and women's hormones, and some of the herbs out there are resveratrol, 
uh, resveratrols in plants and curcumin. They have very good actions. Great. Gosh, mm. I need to take notes when you're talking because there's so many, so much information coming at me. Mm. So do you have any final takeaways final for us? Final words. Runs in families, look around yours. Lifestyle and diet are king. It's sneaky and watch out. Okay, good to know. Francis, thank you so much. Pleasure. <laughs> now, if you are concerned about anything that we have discussed, please contact your own healthcare professional.